Dear all, today I'll be showing you how we can use Google Classroom effectively for TNL during this HBL period. I'm speaking as a SS teacher and also a math teacher where we need to provide different forms of feedback for students' work. So firstly, launch your web browser. I personally use Google Chrome because most apps are compatible with it. Go to your Google Classroom page. Over here, you should see an overview of all the classes that you've created on this platform. This platform allows you to create different folders for the different classes, key in different assignments, instructions, and all you need to do is to onboard your students onto the app. This will be shown in a separate video. So firstly, I'll show you how we can provide feedback for students typed work. This is probably relevant for social studies, humanities, and language teachers. So firstly, I go to my 4N2 social studies group. I look at the classwork. These are the classes that are created for this HBL period. And for this demonstration, I go to my demo lesson where there's an instruction to complete question 1A based on this attached file. And the student has duly submitted the work. Let's check it out. I click on student's work. I can see that one student has turned in the work and there is a file attached to this student. For this to work, you need to give your students instructions to submit a Word document, which will also be shown in a separate video. So based on the student's work, the student has attempted question 1a with the following response. To give feedback for the work, you can simply highlight over this, this function just like your Google Doc, right click it, and then comment. You could tell the student that, for instance, they have scored a particular mark. I think you have identified the message. You can continue to do so by simply just highlighting, right-clicking, and then commenting for the students. On this platform, you can also give the student their grade, and you can also include private comments that's personal to the students. This is useful should you want to give information that could be sensitive. Say, for instance, I feel that this is my school grading, blah, blah, blah. You can post this, and then remember, after marking this, you return the work to the student. The student will see all your comments, the mark, and all the private comments you get. Let me show you what a student should see. So, as a student, I can go to the app, access my file, and as a student, I will see either on the laptop or the platform that I'm using on, the highlighted feedback from my teacher, the associated comments given by the teacher, my marks, and also the private comments given to me. I think this is very helpful for us to consolidate all the typed work for our students doing SS, humanities, or the languages. So separately for math teachers, I will use my 2T1 math as an example. I feel that math teachers are facing a big problem right now because students probably are doing their work on full scat paper, worksheets, or workbook. I think the most commonly used method right now is for the teacher to get students to submit a PDF file of their work. We download it and then perhaps we mark it using platforms like Microsoft Edge. We still have to save the same file and then send it back to the students individually or via uploading it to Google Drive. This step is very tedious as there are multiple steps involved in it. So on Google Classroom, I believe I found a way to streamline all of this. On my 2T1 folder, again, I click on Classwork. There are certain lessons that have already been assigned, but for this demo purpose, I will click on my demo file. This particular assignment required the student to refer to the attached worksheet which is over here, they can look at all of this and then do it on the full scat paper. Upload the worksheet via a PDF format onto the platform. So again, the student has uploaded a scanned version of their work. I personally recommend it to my students to use the free app called Chem Scanner. This will be demonstrated in also another separate video. So over here, the student has scanned their work. This makes it neater and tidier and clearer for us to mark. Typically, like I said earlier, we will need to download the file and then there will be multiple steps involved in providing the feedback. However, I believe that over here, look at Open With. 
you can choose several ways to mark this piece of work. On your laptops, assuming you're using the Emory laptops, you should not see this app that I recommend. It's called DocHub. It allows you to make immediate feedback on the same document. So simply Google DocHub. You simply sign up for an account over there and sync it with the Google Drive account they're using for your Google Classroom. Over here, I already have it because I've synchronized it earlier. So once this is synchronized with the Google Drive that you're using, open the file with DocHub. It will require you to give permissions, etc. Just allow it to do so. And subsequently, whenever you open any PDF file on Google Classroom, you click on DocHub, it will immediately open it on DocHub where you can provide the feedback. Bear with me, we are coming to the end of this demonstration. So over here, you see the same PDF file. You can simply click on the many functions over here. You can type comments for the students or you could even annotate on it, which I think is very helpful for the language, sorry, for the math teachers. So over here, let me just find the pen function. I believe it should be this one. Nope, it's not this one. Sorry, still trying out this application. Mm, bear with me while I find a way to mark this. I was able to do it earlier. Forgot how to do so. Uh -huh, okay, is this one? This one that looks like a pen called Draw Freehand. You change the ink to probably red, the one you want to mark in, and simply you use your stylus. I'm using the laptop. You can simply mark over the student's work like this. You can just give it a tick, and then so on and so forth. Tell them whether they are right or wrong. Tell them where they've gone wrong. Now, for the final step, Simply go to the top right hand corner, click on export, click on Google Drive, and then update your existing version with this new revision. This allows your copy that has been marked to save over the student's copy, and then click on export to drive. This file has been saved to the Google Drive that you have connected your Google Classroom with, and now go back to the same file that your student was working on and submitted to you, you refresh it. The file that your student has submitted will be annotated with your feedback. This is very easy and you do not have to go through the multiple step process that I was mentioning earlier. And similarly to just now, just key in the marks for the students and you can in fact in private comments. Point of view, they will open the same file on their app via the laptop or the phone, and they can see your marked feedback for them and your comments and your marks for them. They can simply do the corrections on their hard copy paper by referring to your feedback. So here's the end of my demonstration. Please feel free to propose to me should you have better ways to streamline this entire process. Thank you.